Hi guys. Um, haven't really done like a proper planned video in a while, so I thought today, because I never actually got round to it, I'd do one on putting and main maintenance. Um, I don't know if some of you may have seen on Facebook and Instagram earlier this week, I did post saying that we have managed to keep our main this year. I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Um, generally from about here downwards, um, to try and keep their horses mane. Because the problem is, is in the winter, we will be a bit loud the socks, it'll be great. In the winter, the rugs will rub the manes out, of course. Um, but look! Actually, it is granted it is a little bit thinner than up here but I have actually pulled this top half to make it not quite so wild and crazy am I so what we're gonna do today is just run through what we do to try and keep Sox's mane from being pulled out to smithereens because literally last year it was like this anyone recognize that you know, like no mane at all, there's nothing there, it's just like wispy that sticking up. They look great in dressage tests, I really did. Added a bit of an element of uh, some geriatric to our already slightly bizarre prelim dressage tests in the socks. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get on with this. Right, let's check out the grooming kit though. We've assessed it before, but we're looking at it again. This is my platting spray. I use it to make the mane a little bit more malleable. And these are my quick knots. I'm sure you've all seen them. If you haven't seen them, go and check out our other videos. Um, they are like little mini pitchforks and socks would like to eat them right now. I also keep my platting bands in a jam jar. You're welcome for that little life hack there. And this is my new latest favorite thing, a comb. This is my tin of random platting paraphernalia. Never use this stuff in a main. It will get everywhere. Polish because he has a few grey hairs. It's not edible. I'm telling you, you can't eat it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> can't get it to focus either. Uh, cotton wool. Not really sure why I'd use that for platting. Uh, I've got chalk in there. Or another odd place to put that. And uh, the dreaded sewing gear that I do very, very rarely use. I'm going to put that away though because I'm not going to use anything from in there. Um, yeah, I don't know why I've left the fructus wax on the side. Honestly, don't ever put that in your horse's mane. I don't know why I've ever put that in my horse's mane. It slips your fingers everywhere, makes the platinum bands fall out. Just a bad idea. Bad idea all round. Okay, Socks here is incredibly interested in what's going on here because he's got a camera in his face and I keep putting stuff near him. So let's go with this. Right, quick tip. If your horse has rubbed out the entirety of his mane, all the dogs in the yard are barking. If, the horse, if your horse has rubbed out the entirety of his mane, guess what you should do? Plat whatever remainder of it he's got. So don't let it get to the point where there's nothing. If it does get to the point where there's nothing, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait till summer when he's got no rubs on so that this part of his mane can start growing back, or her mane. That's what I did. So basically, Sox had no mane at all, and then when the spring and summer rolled round, uh, how long ago was this song? It's probably about a year ago. Um, then we decided to start putting it in plants. They were very tiny little plants. They were like that short. They were so small. Um, or bunches. Um, just basically so that the rug couldn't rub the mane out. Um, and then obviously as the mane grows and gets a little bit thicker, um, you can start platting more. Um, but even now, I do keep plants in his mane because I know that he's prone to having it um, fall out. So, yeah. Right. This is Supreme Products Easy Plat. It basically is just a spray that adds a bit of stickiness to the mane to stop it from being too loose to plant. His mane's actually quite dirty, so it's not going to be a problem. But we're going to put it in anyway. Right, okay. I actually start from the top down to the bottom, but I've clearly put the camera and the horse in the wrong place. So actually I might move in. Socks is actually really abiding to have his mane and everything done. It's possibly like the best behaved horse you've ever met. <laughs> Aren't you? You're my little my little circus tricks horse. Lid isn't actually doing circus tricks. Right, 
Let's put some of this in. La, 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 la. I don't actually know how much you're supposed to put this in. I just kind of like do whatever. About as much hairspray as I put on the night out, which is probably far too much. Right. <laughs> as you can see, it is a little bit thinner, but half a thin mane is better than no mane, eh? Right. This is possibly one of my favourite things I've bought this year. This is a high shine comb, but it's obviously got a clip on it. I think there's um. Uh, so I bought this from the shop. So obviously this is HY high shine, high shine. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I bought this this from the shop in Prog Hill, but you can actually buy these online. Um, they sell them in different makes. There's uh, what are they? Zop top. Brushes, you can buy them on the Lumu website and stuff, so you can find them anywhere. And they're relatively cheap, I think this was about four quid or something. So, but for good bargain, I definitely recommend it because what, what happens? Can you see? Right, here's my comb. Combing my nice sticky mane down. It's not that sticky. Right, okay. My, my hairspray is much stickier than this. Right, so I used the length of the comb to section out the plaits. There we go, right, see that? Nice and neat, not really. But there you go, that is the length of the comb. Then, look how clever this is. Clip. That's out of the way. Jeez. So, we're gonna do that. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. So as you can see here, I plaited the mane down and um, basically I'm going to do it like I would with any normal plait, just roll it up, so bend it over, bend it over again, get it nice and tight and then uh, once I've got that, then I just stab the quick knot through the back and bend it and uh, there we go, there you have it and that will stay in for hours and hours. To my shadow, to the sun rays, and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. So they're looking pretty smart now, socks. So that is how we plait for a competition. As you can see, socks is far more interested in this hay and trying to knock over the camera right now. So we're going to move it. Uh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to my room. Magic. Um. Well, I'm going to keep this nice and short and simple. Um. Yes, I use quick knots uh, fairly frequently when I'm plaiting now. I do quite like them. However, it did take me three goes of competing and having my plaits falling out um, to actually get the gist of it. I kept putting them in wrong. I know it seems really bizarre, like how could you put them in wrong? They're the simplest things on the planet to put in. And it's because my horse's mane was too thick. I bought the wrong thickness of quick knots. I pulled his mane 
and it's all it's all hunky dory now. I've actually tested it by putting him out in the field with them in, and he's come in the next morning with all the other horses down the field with his mane still perfectly intact. I actually did it one day, rode him into a dressage the next morning. Yeah, so that's kind of how good they are. But you do need to practice before you decide, I know, I've got a dressage tomorrow, I'm gonna put some quick knots in. Because you need to get a hang of it. Um, that's what I'll say on the matter. But they're reusable, so even if you do go through three goes of just practicing, getting the gist of it, once you've got the hang of it, then they'll stay in, they'll be perfect hunky-dory. Oh, if you enjoyed our video today, please go to our channel, subscribe, like the video, leave us a comment if you like, because I quite like to hear about what you guys are up to, and if you've got similar YouTube channels, I don't know. Um, as I said before, I'm quite interested in horses, I'm quite interested in silliness and comedy, um, I have a bit of an interest in uh, learning about serial killers, not in becoming one that's not not something I'm interested in just checking out what's going on with it because I'm pretty sure my next door neighbor is one actually he's, there's two doors down that way no that way I don't know there's one or the other see you later